All right, y'all, it's future me. I'm jumping in here real quick. I'm getting ready to put some hamburger into the Instant Pot to make taco meat for this week. What I forgot to mention was a couple of things. Number one, I made a mistake and gave you the wrong total. So at the very end, you'll hear me tell you that I spent $400 on groceries. But what I really truly spent was $430. So the $100 that I do have left over is actually gonna be $70 left over that is gonna be put into my one year in advance binder that I have for my budgeting channel. Now, I'm making this notation ahead of time because at the end of the video, you will see that I said I had $100 left over and I do not, I have 70 left. What I also forgot to show you all is, not the taco seasoning, I'm using that today because I'm making five pounds of pre-made taco meat. Some of it will be frozen, some of it will actually go into um, meals for this week as well. Because I'm trying to do meals in advance because I'm not feeling so well. But I did not remember to show you guys, I did buy this at Aldi, not Aldi, Sam's Club. I buy most of my seasonings, most, not all, but most of my seasoning at Sam's Club, the bigger seasonings like this. And this is the brown gravy. This was just under $6. We do like the brown gravy here at the house with open face sandwiches. So I just wanted to come in here real quick ahead of time and give you that notation. So you will know in advance, especially if you see the title, I spent 430 and yes, I wasn't over budget. Holy cow, I even surprised myself. So, all right, I'll get out of here and let you watch the video. Thanks everyone. Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry for the late video when it comes to my grocery haul. Y'all, I am dealing with a really severe kidney infection that has got me down a little bit when it comes to moving around and things of that nature. I'm just super glad that um, I had Aldi from Instacart and Sam's Club from Instacart bring me the items that they brought me. And then I have Walmart as well that I had to get some items from. So... Y'all, this is going to take a couple of different rotations to get everything on this counter. I will break it down by section on what I spent. Yes, I only had $100 to spend at the end of November. But y'all, I had only spent like a hundred and something dollars um, at the beginning of November. So it wasn't very much. I want to say it was 115 if I remember right. For the entire month of November, the rest of the money went into my one year ahead in advance, fully funded binder so i'm putting this video on both my proper pantry side as well as my budgeting side because i want to make sure that i get this video up for everyone so for those of you who don't understand what i'm talking about when it comes to my budgeting side i do have a budgeting channel as well as i do my prepping channel so when i say things went into my budgeting binders i do cash stuffings on monday wednesday and fridays on my budget channel so I apologize, I just have to cross this video over to both channels so that I can do this one time because this is gonna take several rotations on this countertop. It is a small countertop, but y'all, I stuffed this pretty good up here. So the first rotation, y'all, don't have a heart attack. It is a lot of carbs, of breads. I will talk why I have so much. And then y'all, it's the mountain of potatoes, yes. This isn't all the potatoes I have. I have sweet potatoes, but I couldn't even fit them on the counter at this time. So this is $40 for this first rotation. So what did I get for $40 for what's on this countertop here? I love these little mini sub rolls. Now, most of the time you can get these over in the bread section and y'all, they're gonna cost you a little bit more than if you get them at the bakery section. I prefer to get them in the bakery section. I think they taste just as good, if maybe not better, than in the regular section where you get your breads. So, we have some mini sub rolls so the kids can make mini sandwiches, or they can have little mini subs their way. That's one of their favorite things. But, for the most part, this is usually just meat and cheese and veggies that go on here for the kiddos. Back here, we've already broken into this one, y'all. This is steak rolls. This is another thing that I get from the bakery section that usually comes about 15 uh, steak rolls or so in a bag for four dollars and I want to say it was like 49 cents This was a amazing buy and yes, like I said, we have already gotten into it I'm not gonna lie. You probably could see the pricing on here better than I can I just try to memorize as closely as possible. A lot of times I do like to round up. I use these a lot For my hummus sandwiches y'all know I don't eat meat my kids do but I love to put hummus and then stuff it full of veggies as well on top of that Oh, makes a really, really good sandwich. If you've never had hummus as a replacement for meat on a sandwich, try it. You're going to love it. 
All right, Jesse and Phillip's favorite, favorite thing. Y'all, this has been going up and up and up. These came from Aldi. This one and this one came from Walmart. And I'll try to remember where I got everything, y'all, but sometimes, you know, it eludes me. One, two, three packs of bagels, y'all. I remember when these used to be $1.19. They are now $1.99 per six-count pack. The kids like to open these in the morning. They either put cream cheese on it. You'll see that here in my refrigerated section coming up here shortly. Um, or they put slices of ham and slices a slice of cheese, throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds, slap it together, and have a ham and cheese bagel. It's one of their favorites. Not only do they eat it for breakfast, every once in a while they like it for snack at night as well. All right, over here, another thing that we've already gotten into a little bit, one of the kids did, was these French loaves that you get at Walmart. Y'all, they used to be a dollar, now they're a dollar 49 <laughs> for each one. And I'm like, really? You had to go and raise this one? Y'all, this is a good sandwich type of bread in a sense. It's, you know, it's a French bread that you can open up and make yourself a big old sub sandwich out of this. Now, it doesn't taste as good always as the bread that you get at Subway, but y'all, it's a replacement. It still will fill you up. You can still slap on your own meat, cheeses, veggies, condiments, and have yourself a Subway sandwich at home. That's normally what we do. I'm pretty sure the culprit here was Danya. She just likes to rip off a piece and go and eat it. We also use these for soups as well, y'all. I'll break these off and use them in the soup. The last thing that we do with this, besides the sandwiches, the homemade Subway sandwiches and the soups, is I will slice them like this all the way down, right? And make little slices. And then I will put butter and garlic on it, stick them in the oven. I get about 12 slices for each one of these long breads. And I end up having uh, garlic, butter garlic uh, bread for spaghetti and pasta meals. And it works really, really good. But yes, again, these are no longer a dollar at Walmart. They are $1.49. All right, Aldi. Y'all, I pick and choose my battles when it comes to pricing. I got so many stores at my disposal. I am very happy that I have that. Instacart is really good for me to go through. I know you pay a little bit of a surcharge in pricing and things of that nature, but y'all, when I'm running around and I'm using Uber, it's Uber expensive, okay? Just to go a mile and a half up the street to Walmart and a mile and a half back home from Walmart can cost me anywhere from $12 to $18. Like, <laughs> I could have spent that in food, so. Yeah, I pick and choose my battles where I get things and how I get it. Two packs of hot dog buns. These are from Aldi. Whew, y'all, they're over. They're a little over a dollar now. Oh, I don't even want to talk about them. <laughs> Same thing with the hamburger buns. I may do some hamburgers with these, or you may be doing some sloppy joes. The hot dogs, you'll see in my refrigerator rotation that we have hot dogs to go with these. We're going to be doing some chili dogs this week for the kids. Yes, the mountain of, I think there's like seven loaves of bread here, y'all. All from Aldi, I believe. It might be a few of them from Walmart as well. I do find that the Aldi bread lasts longer than the Walmart bread. It's really crazy. Two weeks after having the Aldi bread and using some of it, it's still as fresh as when I, the day I got it. So I don't know what they're putting in it to make it last as long, but thank you for doing so. Sandwiches and toast, y'all. That's what this goes for. A lot of grilled cheese sandwiches, ham and cheese grilled sandwiches, regular cold cut sandwiches, a lot of toast. I have three kids in the house, and y'all, we can go through a loaf of bread in no time flat. So, yes, this is a lot of bread. Yes, I understand. There's some carb people on here that are about to pass out with all these carbs. But, y'all, when you have three kids in the house, or even more, you can go through these in no time flat. Two servings of this, three for my three kids, another three for my kids again. Jessica, Danya, Phillip, Jessica, Danya, Phillip, they can have one of these gone in a day, like, or two days tops. So, just keep that in mind as well as we go through a lot of carbs okay let's talk about the mountain of potatoes before i switch to the next rotation now we're going to have at least three maybe up to five rotations depending on what i can put on the countertop at one given time so five bags of potatoes three came from aldi i believe and i believe the other two came from walmart they're all five pound bags yes y'all that's 25 pounds of potatoes but aldi and walmart had the exact same price Five pounds of potatoes for $2.30. Please and thank you. Yes. What am I going to do with all these potatoes? Well, I make homemade, um, not like hash browns, but like loose hash browns where you grate the potato and then you just throw it on the griddle. Yes, I do it that way. I do cube it up and make like a chunky hash brown as well for the kiddos that like that. 
I also make baked potatoes, loaded baked potatoes. I will peel these and I will cut them into steak fries and make homemade steak fries for some of our meals. I love just a plain baked potato with sour cream, green onion, and butter. Yes, we can do a loaded baked potato with nacho cheese, chili, things of that nature. Y'all, <laughs> the way that we do potatoes are endless. Mashed potatoes you could do just anything. So yes, we did get 25 pounds of potatoes and that's between the two stores and they both had the exact price, $2.30 per five pound bag. That's less than a dollar per pound. And if you notice, potatoes have been going up in price and I haven't been liking it. But because holiday was here, I loaded up. Potatoes go in the fridge. Y'all, that'll last me well over a month. They will. So that's what we have for rotation round number one. Again, that was right around $40.00. At the end of this video, I will give you a complete running total of what we spent on the groceries for the month of December. Yes, this is working towards the month of December. So I'm throwing my December money in as well as the end of my November money. The prepper pantry video that you just saw was not included in this amount because I had prepper pantry money already pushed aside that I stock away on a weekly basis on Wednesdays on my budgeting side of my channels. So for both my channels here, this is $40. I'll get into the next rotation here in just a moment. All right, y'all, we're back for round two. We'll have round three of the refrigerated foods and then we'll get into more of our meat. So the first set of food that you saw, the first rotation was 40. This is 120 here on the counter here now. Now, yes, I stocked up like crazy. This is going to put us at $160 so far with two more rotations coming. So, for this section of $120, whoops, I just dropped a sweet potato on the floor. Y'all, look how big that sweet potato is. Now, I have some very small hands, but oh, I did not realize from Aldi these sweet potatoes were going to be massive. Okay, so what did I get on this countertop for 120 for this rotation? Celery was still at, I think it was like 90 cents. It was a weird price. I was not used to seeing it in like 90 cents. It has now gone back up, but I'm happy that I grabbed it when I did. I used celery for two things. Number one, my kids don't like it like in soups and things of that nature or stews. They do like it with peanut butter and raisins. Y'all know the ants on a log. We all grew up with that, didn't we? So I make it for that. Plus, I chop up a little celery as well to add to our homemade chicken salad. Y'all, don't be spending four and a half, five dollars on a pound of chicken salad. Make it at home so much easier. I use one chicken breast. I chop it up. I use Hellman's mayo, or you can use Miracle Whip either way if you want the tang. Get the Miracle Whip. Put your own cranberries, your own almonds if you'd like in it. Put your own celery in it and pepper it up, doctor it up your way. Trust me, you're going to save a lot and you're still going to have that great chicken salad taste to go on crackers or sandwiches. I have got 10 pounds of sweet potatoes. In fact, y'all, I know these things are over a pound. This, I think, came in at almost two pounds. Holy cow. All right, I paid $8 for the 10 sweet potatoes. Massive. What do I do with sweet potatoes? Well, I love sweet potatoes. My dogs have them in their diet. This is like a snack for them. Sweet potatoes are a little sweet. So with sweet potatoes, they have, I, I will bake them, peel the skin off, chop them up, give them to my dogs. I open them up. I put a, a guava in them for me. I don't eat honey, y'all, but I do have a guava. My kids eat honey. Um, and I have it that way. Or I will peel them and then I will slice them up and make sweet potato fries. Jessica, that's my youngest daughter in the house. She loves sweet potato fries. So, 10 <laughs> massive, humongous, gargantuan sweet potatoes. All right, sour cream, $1.99, Aldi. Aldi, Walmart. I'm going to try to remember this, y'all. $1.99 for the light sour cream. Y'all, you can't taste the difference between the light and the full sour cream with the calories. I'm trying to stay on the light. I am on the WW plan. I don't really like the new WW plan. Y'all, I only get like 18 or 19 points a day, and I'm like, that's not enough for somebody who doesn't eat meat, but that's what I get. All right, Walmart tomatoes. I forgot and got tomatoes at Walmart, and I also got tomatoes that'll be over here through Aldi. I don't know why I have ooh, onions sitting on top of my tomatoes. That's not good. 
two packs of the slicing tomatoes from Walmart, $1.50. They used to come in a plastic clamshell. Now they're coming in packaging like this. They still have the little clamshell here, but it doesn't have the clamshell top. It's a packaging top. I'm not worried about it. These have always been $1.50. They still remain at $1.50. Roma tomatoes from Aldi. Why did I get these for tomatoes? Well, first of all, I forgot I got them, to be honest. But I use these in making homemade salsa at home. So that's what I do in homemade pico de gallo. So there we go. That's another thing you should be buying and making yourself is pico de gallo because, y'all, I'm not paying $4.65 for pico de gallo when I can make it at home super easy and super simple with just like four or five ingredients. All right. This has always been a big talk with everybody is these avocados. $2, I believe it's 65 cents, two seventy-five. dollars These are like the little mini avocados, but there's six in here, y'all, and they're good size. If you can't eat up all the avocados, they do freeze well. You can freeze them whole like this, but then when you pull them out and thaw them out, you need to use them that day. Or you can slice them up when they're real soft, pull out the pit, dish out the avocado, dice it up like I do, stick it in freezer-safe containers, and throw them in the freezer until you need them. So I love avocados on... I don't like avocado toast, y'all. I'm, like, probably the only person that doesn't like avocado toast. But what I do like is I love avocados in my veggie wraps, okay, and on my black bean burgers that I make at home. So we have that. Now let's talk about the onions. You saw the mountain of potatoes, okay, and then the mountain of sweet potatoes. Now you're going to see the mountain of onions. Six of the three-pound packages of onions at $1.67 per bag y'all three pounds for a dollar 67 please i wanted to get the sweet onions but no nope, the only thing that was on sale was the white onions i'm okay with it i eat onions and so many dishes i have them in my wraps i put them in my black bean tacos i put them in my black bean soups i put them in everything that's veggie wise i put them in my hummus sandwiches yes i do so i have this really amazing chopper that i got off amazon I absolutely love it. Comes with a whole bunch of different cutters. If y'all want me to link it, I'll see if I can find it and I will link it below. Trust me, you will absolutely love it. The only thing I ask you to do is never, ever, ever, ever touch the blades and think that they're dull. I cut myself to the point I almost needed stitches and I barely touched it. So it comes with this little dicer thing that I love. It also comes with a julienne slicer. It's just amazing and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite thing in the kitchen. Um, so six of the Three pound onions, that's 18 onions. I'm gonna be slicing and dicing all day long. I've got a bunch of different cream cheeses for the kiddos because them and their cream cheese and their bagels. It's also good on toast, to be honest with you. I like cream cheese on toast just as much as I do on bagels. All right, over here, this is my hummus. Do not buy hummus at Walmart. Do not buy hummus at Aldi. Do not buy hummus and pass go unless you're buying it from Sam's Club, y'all. This hummus was such a good price. 32 ounces. I ain't gonna lie. I got into it, you know, because uh, I love my hummus sandwiches. Yes, I do. So I put veggies on it. I put hummus on it. I put spinach, which you'll see in the next rotation because <laughs> I didn't have enough room. I got that from Sam's Club. I believe it was $6, maybe a little bit more. We shall see. Um, Ballpark hot dogs continue to go up in price at Sam's Club, but y'all, I told you I'm gonna start buying all my meat at Sam's Club. The quality is just where I want it to be. It doesn't go bad. I've noticed that Walmart, their meats are growing bad extraordinarily fast. Aldi's are too high priced. Aldi's is more high priced than Walmart. And Walmart's is going too bad, too quick. So now, when I'm doing everything from Sam's Club, I'm not having a problem. So, meats are coming from Sam's Club from here on out. No questions asked. All right, I have cilantro and I have fresh parsley, which means I also need to thaw out my refrigerator a little bit because I think my refrigerator is on high. A little bit higher than it should be because this one's pretty much frozen. Ooh. But anyways, cilantro. What do I do with that? Cilantro lime rice. Remember Chipotle? Yeah. I have one a mile from my house, right? Guess what I don't do? I don't go to Chipotle. I don't pay $9 for a Chipotle burrito. I don't pay $9.5 for a Chipotle bowl. Y'all, make it at home. It's just a little bit of meat if you want the meat. I, get chicken, I do chicken for my kids. I have a little bit of steak if Danya wants it. But they usually prefer chicken. And... You have your beans, you have your rice, you have all your side items like guacamole that you don't have to pay double for or single for extra because you want a double serving or a single serving of um, guacamole. 
have it make it at home y'all make it at home don't go out paying extra for that that's crazy sour cream corn if you want the little spicier corn get the southwest corn from uh walmart and that has like the little peppers and everything in it and add that to your chipotle bowls if you want to make a chipotle wrap take two burrito sized tortillas put one halfway in to the other one and then you got a bigger longer wrap and that's what they do at chipotle as well I make Chipotle bowls all the time and Chipotle wraps at my house all the time. And y'all, I make them for less than $1.50 per serving. So there you go. All right, off my soapbox. That's my wax melter. <laughs> I've got, and I'm not sure if all six are up here, but I'm not going to count. I did buy six packs of green peppers. Now, here's the deal. The green peppers were a really good price at Aldi at $2.47 per pack. They had the multicolor ones, which I really did prefer, but they were $2.99 a pack. I said, nah, let's just go with the green peppers. I use this for stuffed green peppers for the kids, unstuffed green peppers, which basically you cut the green peppers, you throw them in a pan with the meat, with whatever you decide to do, tomatoes, tomato sauce, onions, all your seasonings, and you can have an unstuffed green pepper. Or you can stuff them, put them in your crock pot, and have stuffed green peppers with tomato sauce all around it and it bubbling away and being nice and sweet. I do plan on doing some of those today. I also make black bean and rice stuffed peppers for me. Um, another thing that I learned that my daughter taught me is if you get ground turkey versus ground beef, which ground turkey is going to be cheaper, y'all, you can season it with beef bouillon to make that ground turkey taste like ground beef. There you go. There's your tip for the day. All right, so six of these. We're going to make some stuffed green peppers, unstuffed green peppers. I'm going to slice some of these up for my veggie wraps. I'm going to slice some of this up for Chipotle night. I'm going to slice some of this up for whatever else we need to slice it for, my hummus sandwiches and all of that as well. All right, I don't know if I pulled all six packages of baby carrots out. I hope I did because, y'all, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> I got six packs of baby carrots, and I believe the packs were... 79 cents per pack so six packs of baby carrots we cook them we eat them raw um we cook them and eat them i cook them and give them to my chihuahuas they love carrots it's another sweet little treat for them and they love it three and a half dollars for three pounds of apples i really like the honey crisp but no i don't want to pay the price for the honey crisp App apples and apple right now at the moment honey crisp is my favorite apple but you know what we're picking and choosing our prices right now Apples just to eat, apples to slice, because my chihuahuas go crazy over apples. Y'all know we don't buy store-bought dog treats. I give them fresh fruit and veggies for treats. I make homemade dog treats from home with oatmeal and peanut butter and good things for my dogs. Apples are included in it as well. Um, so three pounds of apples. I also put them on my wraps. Yes, I do, my veggie wraps. I put apples in it. I also put them on my salads too. Love it. More baby carrots, so that's probably more... That I told you I had six bags of baby carrots, so I might have pulled all six of them out this time. Back here, I want berserk on the grapes, y'all. I got three packages of grapes, and the packages were 99 cents per pound. That's my price point while I go nuts. Grapes go on my veggie wraps. Yeah, I put everything on. It's a veggie fruit wrap is what it really is. Um, we do that. We use it as a side instead of chips, a little healthier side. No chihuahuas, no dogs can have grapes at all. No, 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 no. That's a no. They can't have raisins. They can't have grapes. There's a whole bunch of things dogs cannot have. So please remember to check before you feed your dog anything if dogs are allowed to have it. Grapes is something my dogs are not allowed to have. They're not allowed to have raisins. You know, there's a whole multitude of things dogs can't have that I was really shocked about. Let's talk about the butter. Now, when I went in and I looked at the Country Crock Family Size Butter, which is like 67 ounces or something, Y'all, it's nearly $9, and I about had a heart attack. I was like, are you kidding me? I have one in the fridge. I have one in the freezer. But you know what? I'm not using that kind of butter when we actually do cookies. So I get this butter here. Now, if I can get it to Dollar Tree, I'm going to snap it up, and I'm going to buy it all. I'm not going to lie about that one. I will buy all the butter in stock if they have it um, for $1.25. But guess what? Dollar Tree's been out every single time now. <laughs> so $1.67 at Aldi, it's the best price I can find. No, it's not real butter, it's margarine, but it works for baking for our purposes. And sometimes I put that on baked potato versus using my kids' butter um, because that's more expensive. Pork loin boneless, y'all, holy cow. Now, I don't like the one with the bones in it at Sam's Club because it has more bone than it does meat. So please, if you buy the pork loins, 
buy them boneless. That way you can slice and dice as much as you want. I'm gonna shred all of this up. In fact, I'm gonna use half of it today in a crock pot. And I'm gonna wrap the other half. I usually do it in like three, four, five portions, but I'm gonna make some par barbecue pulled pork. Do not spend $4 at the store for pre-made barbecue pulled pork. I wanna say, and I apologize, you'll be able to see and tell me if I'm wrong or not. Um, I don't know if it's on this side or, ooh. He's a big boy, y'all. If it's on, no, it's gotta be on the other side. And yes, it does have fat on the bottom of it, but that's good to cook it with the fat on so you get the flavor. I wanna say this was either 219 per pound or 244 or something like that per pound. I don't remember, y'all. I got it through Instacart, through Sam's Club. Um, I do have a Sam's Club membership that I did put my membership number in. So I am getting the perks of every time I buy something, it's going into my $100 membership account. So I should be able to get a free membership next year when I cash out my rewards. But this is the boneless pork loin. Again, I'm gonna cut half of it. I'm gonna throw it in a crock pot for eight hours on low. I'm gonna throw some bad boy barbecue. I'm gonna drain it, throw some barbecue sauce in on it, shred it all up and put it in containers and put it in my freezer, y'all. So the other half, I'll do that at a later time. Or we might make some type of stew out of it. I'm not quite sure. So that's what we have for round number two. Yes, it is. All right, y'all. We're going in to round number three. All right, y'all. We are back with our final lap round, y'all. I have got this packed. I also have a couple items I want to show you as well at the very end. All right. This is $250. Holy cow. So previous was $40, then it was $120, now we're looking at $250, so roughly right about $400, y'all. Holy cow. All right, so I want to show you something real quick. Actually, I want to show you two things that I forgot to show you in my prepper video. I apologize. It was sitting on the counter, but for some reason, it was hiding and I didn't realize it. <laughs> this is a 100 count Motrin. I got it from Walmart, $1.98. That was for my prepper side of things. Motrin is something in the house that is essential for us. My son and I suffer from migraines. It's also great when you do have fevers to interval that with Tylenol. And it helps with anti-inflammatory situations such as my kidney <laughs> infection I have right now. The other thing that was sitting there in my prep video that I forgot to show you was on top of my canned goods is this pack of Starkiss Chunk Chicken in Water. Or no, Chunk Tuna. It's not chicken, that's tuna. In Water. So... There you go, we have that. Now let me tell you a little something. When you go to Walmart or any store, get the tuna in water, drain it, and mix in your own condiments such as barbecue sauce or honey barbecue or sriracha or whatever. Do not buy those single pack serves. Y'all, those are 2.5 ounces. They're a little over a dollar now. And yes, they have the nice little flavors, but trust me, add your own flavors to your own tuna and get the Starkist tuna. Get this, y'all. It's so much cheaper. You're looking at about 75 cents per can now. It used to be 68 cents. It kind of goes up and down, so keep an eye on it. Um, and that's per can inside there. The bigger pouches that you get, the bigger can uh, selections that you get, the 8 count, the 10 count, 4 count, they're always going to be a little bit cheaper than buying them singly. But don't go out and get those single serve, rip the top, and eat the flavored tunas. Flavor your tuna yourself. <laughs> um, we use that for tuna sandwiches. Um, I put tuna on toast. We also use that for uh, tuna wraps, y'all. So good for that for tuna and, you know, tuna and crackers. Don't buy those to-go kits, y'all. That's just crazy what you'll pay for that. Get your own crackers. Make your own flavored tuna at home so it's cheaper. All right, more meat from Sam's Club. So the tuna and the motion does not come into the play of the $250 here that I have here for you. And yes, like I said, I got some items here um, towards the end that I wanna show you that I have that are not priced in here, but I wanna show them to you. Sam's Club, y'all, chicken's going down. <laughs> Cross your fingers, I wanna see that $1.98 price again. This was like 280 per pound, okay? I would still like to see it a little bit cheaper than that. This was over $17, y'all, for chicken. Look at the price up here. Y'all can see it. I can feel it, but I can't see it. So over $17 for a little over six and a half pounds, basically worth of chicken. 
breast, boneless, skinless. I have learned that my children do not prefer chicken with bones. They want the boneless, skinless. Of course, they want the more expensive chicken. But it's so versatile to use chicken in all kinds of different ways. Buy a whole chicken, break it down. Buy a whole chicken raw, y'all. Don't even buy the rotisserie chicken that is already pre-cooked and pretty-fied for you. Buy it raw at Walmart or at Sam's Club in the raw section of chicken. Cook it yourself. You'll save a little bit of money, too. Another thing I tell people to do is go to Walmart at like 10 o'clock at night. Go to the back where your milks are at. Now, that's where mine's at. I know different stores are different. But in the very back, I found rotisserie chickens on sale for three and a half dollars for a whole chicken. Now, they're not the family chickens, which are the bigger, fatter, plumpier, five pound chickens. They're like a three, three and a half pound chicken. They're the smaller chickens, but $3.50 for a whole chicken regardless. You can break that down and use it in so many meals as well. Aldi. <laughs> Aldi, yes. Two dollars and uh, 70 cents per pound. Yes, 73.27, I'm not gonna lie. I bought three of them, y'all. Yes, I did. There's one. Here's two. You can see the prices on them. They vary just a little bit, but not by much. A little bit $15 per five pound package. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna throw a fit about the grade of this ground beef. It is still ground beef. Would I prefer a 90-10? Absolutely. Can my chihuahuas eat this? No. Downstairs in the freezer from Sam's Club, I do have the 90-10 for my chihuahuas. They're one, they're one pound single pork, or single pack portions not single pork but single packed portions and they come three in it together and i believe oh goodness i don't remember exactly what the price is for those down there but jaya is my half chihuahua half dachshund and she has pancreatitis and she has epilepsy and she requires a 90 10 ground beef for her dog food we do give her a little bit of dog food but it's a 50 50 now i make half her dog food from homemade and I give her half dog food of a brand that we finally found, Purina One, that I like, and it's working for her. Let's talk about bacon. We don't buy pork bacon. My kids hate pork bacon. They grew up on tur turkey bacon. That's what we're buying. Got turkey bacon. <laughs> y'all, I'd like to see the price of this go down. When I sit there and watch y'all buying regular pork bacon, and I'm looking at the price that you guys are paying for regular bacon, I am about to cry, okay? <laughs> it's expensive as it is already. I believe this was like $3.49 per package. 12 ounces. It's got 21 to 23 slices. We usually come out with 23 slices. I got two packs of this. This is going to be for some BLTs, baby. And one of the packs will probably be for breakfasts because the kids love it too. I do do my own homemade breakfast sandwiches as well. I'll show you a device at another time that I use to make homemade McMuffins, homemade all the sandwiches that you can want to get at, Walmart, at McDonald's. You can make on this one little device. There's a Hamilton Beach sandwich breakfast sandwich maker so if you don't want to wait until i show you that at a later time look it up you will love it i use it religiously my splurge for the month i'm not sure if i'm showing it to you the right way or the back way i think it's the right way this is my morning star chick patty chicken patties now this is a vegan and or plant-based patty it's the only thing that i actually like now i do love the black bean burgers y'all but i'm not paying for those black bean burgers i make them at home and i make them i make four of them for roughly about 75 cents now if you buy four at walmart it's gone up to like 4.95 for a four pack i make four for roughly about 75 cents but the one thing i can't get my hands on learning how to make is chick patties so the chick patty value pack for me just right under eight bucks 7.95 i wanted to cry that was from walmart Last time I didn't show you this, this was in <laughs> my countertop haul number two, is green onion. It was sitting there, but I overlooked it somehow, some way. You know, overlooked it with my hands, not with my eyes. The eyes don't work. Okay, so sausage. This has gone up too. I love serving my kids this banquet sausage. We put it in the air fryer, eight minutes at 390 degrees. That way I'm not having to cook it while I'm trying to do the eggs, the toast, the whatever else they want biscuits and gravy my kids love hot breakfast or not too much into cold breakfast anymore they prefer the hot they're a little spoiled and that's okay this has gone up this used to be 4.98 for 50 count now it's 6.98 <laughs> please inflation stop we need this back down seriously 
All right, not gonna lie, got into the spinach, that's me. <laughs> I'm a spinach eater, I'm obnoxious about it, I love it. If I could, I would own a lot more spinach in my fridge, but I don't have any room right now. I do like to buy my spinach at Sam's Club, though, because they have the big two and a half pound packages, but I believe I got this either at Walmart or Aldi. I have a second one in my fridge. Y'all, I'm not gonna yank it out because my countertop's just too full. All right, backward, backwards, backyard, boneless, barbecue, pork looking type ribs. Don't go to McDonald's and get the McRib. No, stop. Go get you some sub rolls like I had showed you in the first rotation. Slap one of these bad boys on it. There's six in a pack, $3.98 for six of them. I think it's a little pricey myself, but it's pretty much been almost the same price. It was $3.49, now it's $3.98. And put one of these pork riblet patties on. Add your own onion, add your own pickle, and anything else you would like. Make your own McRibs at home. Stop going to Walmart. Walmart, jeez, listen to me. Stop going to McDonald's for your McRibs and stop being upset when they go away. You can always look the ingredients up, y'all, and make this at home. Do it. I get six of these for $3.98, okay? And then I have the sub rolls to go with it. Much, much cheaper than going through the drive-thru. All right, back here. These should be the barbecue wings, boneless wings. I tried to get the buffalo ones that the kids like. They didn't have them in stock. They had the buffalo uh, boneless ones out, so we got the barbecue ones. Please don't ask the price. Nearly $17 for three and a half pounds. <sighs> my kids like to eat them by themselves, but I love to throw them in wraps for my kids and make almost like a, a barbecue, barbecue boneless wing snack wrap. Usually it's a hot buffalo snack wrap, but... Throw this in with a little lettuce, a little cheese, maybe even a little tomato. Put it in a wrap, serve it for lunch, serve it for dinner, serve it as a snack. You can use snack wraps for those too. All right, over here are biscuits. Not sure if I got them at Sam's Club or Walmart. I apologize, so I can't remember exactly the price, but I'm going to say they run me about six and a half dollars. But we do make our own biscuit sandwiches. Again, don't go through McDonald's. And get your breakfast biscuit sandwich. Make your bacon at home. Make your sausage patties at home. Make up your own little egg. And throw it on a biscuit. Wrap it up. Freeze it. You can always pull out your own breakfast sandwiches. Do you know that Jimmy Dean's breakfast sandwiches now are up to $15 for a big old family box of croissant sandwiches or croissant biscuits? Breakfast biscuits that have the egg, cheese, sausage, bacon, whatever else in it. Yeah. Do it at home, please. Save yourself some money. All right. This is 64 ounces of ketchup. I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but I have an 11-year-old. No, I don't. I have a 12-year-old. I do have an 11-year-old. His name is Philip. But I have a 12-year-old. Her name is Jessica. And she is in the Ketchup Anonymous course. She needs to understand that she is going through too much ketchup on a monthly basis. And she needs to um, slim down her ketchup issue <laughs> she's got going so 64 ounces of ketchup 369 at walmart at ali chocolate chips are back up in price again huh oh, i really wanted to get the chocolate chips from sam's club i was hoping the price would go down because they had the big 72 ounce packages but y'all there wasn't as many sales this year as i thought there would be for holiday i was a little disappointed so i bought these at ali just under three dollars per pack i think there were 269 a pack milk <laughs> I need a Guernsey milk cow in my backyard, please. Someone send one to me. I got a really big backyard. They could eat the grass. That's fine. $3.69 for milk, and I'm sick and tired of seeing it and or hearing it. My kids drink milk. I do not. All right. The pork loin boneless that I showed you in the last rotation was $1.99 per pound. So I was a little bit off. My daughter read it to me. I was like, hoo-hoo, I didn't know it was that cheap. Pork Boston butt. Sam's Club, $1.99 per pound. That's a big boy. Yes, he is. So, he's going to go on the crock pot, too. He's going to be shredded down, and he's going to go on wraps for barbecue wraps, y'all. Don't buy Hot Pockets, okay? Get some pita bread. We're about to show you that here in a minute, too. But do this, and you can have, you can use this in replace for stew meat for stews. You can shred this and put whatever seasonings you want. I like the pork carnita seasoning as well for my kids. But some of my kids like a little spicy kick. So half of this will be pork carnitas, seasoned shredded beef for them. No, lied, not beef, pork. The other part will be barbecue shredded pork. They can put it on buns. They can put it in wraps. They can put it on the side and dip chips for all I care. They love it. 
It's great. It's easy. Throw it in a crock pot. Forget about it. It'll be done in eight hours overnight. So I'm going to split that into two portions. Again, one is for pork carnitas seasoning. The other one is for barbecue seasoning. So there you go. $1.99 a pound. Sam's Club, you're not going to beat that price. <sighs> I did show you my bread, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't show you my tortillas. And I'm a bad person right now because, you know what? I didn't really, should not have bought the tortillas. However, pita bread. Pita bread, pita bread, pita bread. I make pita pockets out of these. <laughs> Yes, I do. I stuffed them full of all kinds of things, including the shredded pork, the shredded pork loin, the shredded pork Boston butt. Um, we do all kinds of things with pita breads, and I love pita bread. I haven't had pita bread in the longest, longest time. Sam's Club pita bread. Yes, it is. I don't remember exactly the price. I want to say it was $4.95 for this big old pack. Yes. I do veggie set, veggie wraps with that. I bought more tortillas, and why? Because I'm being lazy this week, and I really don't want to make any, and I really am starting to get slimmer than I thought I was, and my freezer's downstairs. I thought I had more, and I didn't, so bad me for not keeping contracted with my tortillas and understanding exactly how much I had on hand. So, big old pack of just the fajita tortillas. This was $5 for a pack of 40. That's actually a pretty good deal, but I'm gonna show you a better deal here in a minute. Yes, burrito tortillas. What do I use burrito tortillas for? Well, we use them for burritos. I make homemade burritos, y'all. Yes, I do. Stop going to Taco Bell, okay? Don't do it. Stop. Make it at home. Have you seen how much little meat and cheese they actually put in a taco and charge you $1.27? It's ridiculous. Y'all, I make half-pound tacos for my kids, okay? It's like an epidemic around here. They know taco night is like, yes, we get what we want. I don't get the Taco Bell sauces at Taco Bell. Hello, Walmart has Taco Bell sauces. They have the hot sauce, they have the fire sauce, they have the Chipotle sauce. They have all these different types of sauces you can get at Walmart for a dollar eighty-seven, a dollar ninety-eight range for your taco sauce lovers who love the Taco Bell sauce, which I do too. But I'm not paying the Taco Bell price and then asking them for their sauce, which half the time I don't even get when I did order from Taco Bell, I'd be like, hey, I ordered this sauce and this sauce and this sauce, and uh, I got none. Like, where was my sauce? Hello? So, make your tacos at home. Make your burritos at home. Make all your wraps at home. Your veggie wraps, your chipotle wraps. Hello, that's what I use these for, chipotle wraps. All right, I found a second thing of hamburger buns. I knew I had them, but I couldn't remember where they were. Guess what, my fingers found them because my eyeballs can't. Okay, one pack of mushrooms, y'all. I'd like to get more, but $1.55 at Aldi. Wish I could have got more, but they go bad so super fast, and I'm not got enough space in my freezer to stick those. We got two things of ground sausage. My kids are really liking. I had them try the Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls, but I had the knockoff version, y'all. I had the Walmart version, not the Jimmy Dean version. It's like a dollar cheaper, dollar and a half cheaper. They really liked it. So guess what I have in my refrigerator? I did not pull out. Please take my word at it. I've got three boxes of eggs sitting in my fridge, okay? That's 60 times three. That's 180 eggs sitting in my fridge. Why do we have so many eggs in our fridge right now? Because my kids love hard-boiled eggs, and they'll go through 10 in a day. I kid you not. Between them and my chihuahuas who love hard-boiled eggs as snacks, $10.29 per 60-count eggs, okay? Let's not just tell you that I spent over $32 in eggs, but I did. So eggs, I have the sausage. I can ground this up now. These I think were $2.69 per roll. It's a dollar, um, a dollar. It's a pound. And I got these, I believe I want to say I got these at Aldi. Don't, don't question me on it. I think that's why I got them. <laughs> um, y'all know I can't see So it's, it's just a habit of trying to remember where I got anything and everything. I don't have a cheat sheet I can look at and tell you, but I think they were $2.69 per pound. And I'm going to make my own breakfast bowls for the kids. I've got the eggs. i got the cheese. i got the sausage. i got bacon as well. I mean, they can throw in veggies. They can throw in mushrooms. They can throw in peppers and onions and all that. Don't be getting the breakfast bowls at Walmart or anywhere else. Don't even get the knockoff versions. They're still too expensive. I will probably make a breakfast bowl for uh, less than a buck. So, woohoo, there you go. Yes, more butter. And I'm not sure why this was open, but this was open. I am going to verify that there are four in here. This is unsalted butter, I believe, or it could be salted butter. I don't remember which one. That's for baking. Don't ask me why that was accidentally in my cart. That was over four and a half dollars. I am so, I'm not happy about it. It was on my receipt though too. So um, somehow it was in my cart after I just bought the other one. 
cheese. I'm not happy about the cheese either. This has gone up now. I do like the block cheese, but I'm telling you right now, when I seen the price per pound, block cheese really isn't that much more cheaper than shredded cheese. Um, at least not in my area, it's not. So I have a cheddar cheese and a mozzarella cheese. These are the bigger 32 ounce size. These are from Walmart. They used to be like five and a half dollars per pack. Now they're nearly eight dollars per pack. I'm not happy about that bit. Okay, I do have two packages of ham. I'm not gonna pull the second pack out, um, but this is the first pack and this is the Black Force ham that my kids like not only on their bagels, but they like it in ham and cheese grilled sandwiches. That's one of Jesse's favorites. They just like plain ham and cheese sandwiches as well. Um, but these are, oh, they used to be $3.50 a pack. Now they're $5.97 per pack, per pound. I'm not really happy about it. The second one is in the refrigerator. I am not pulling it out. It's just too much. More cream cheese I found. I think Jesse's almost gone with that one already. Jeez. Goodness. And not least ever, and my son took them out of the boxes. I buy the 72 count packs of cheese at Walmart. All I do is pull out one of the packs. Um, but I do buy the 72 count. Um, he pulled all these cheeses out of the box and threw them into the cheese drawer in the fridge. So I'm not pulling out all these different packs of cheese. Again, they come in a box of 72. I buy the great value version. My kids do not like the Kraft cheese at all. They like the great value um, American cheese. A 72 count was just under $7. I bought two packs, so that was $14 just for those. Holy cow. So, if I forgot anything, if I missed anything, if you see something on here I did not talk about, I apologize. Y'all, I can't see. Try to do it when you're blind. <laughs> so, we have that. Now, I did say I was going to show you something for all of you who stayed to the end. This is why I'm upset about why I bought the tortillas and should have just made them. I got this on Amazon last month. I paid $19.99 for it. It is an 8-inch tortilla press, y'all. If anybody's interested, let me know. I will give you the link. I am not an Amazon affiliate. You don't have to worry about being tracked on my channel because uh, I'm not an Amazon affiliate. Amazon affiliates, if you click on their link, you'll be tracked up to 72 hours. I'm not down for that. So, if you are okay with doing that, to find someone's link that you can be they can be, they can be tracked by, and then they uh, will get the profit for that. I have not figured out how to get this handle on. My son has looked at the instructions. He's having a hard time. Needless to say, if we can't get it on, we'll figure something out. This is an 8-inch cast iron tortilla press. 8 inches. And let me tell you, when I say this bad boy is heavy, I'm not even joking. It's over 4.5 star rating. It is amazing. I will put some parchment paper in between it so that when I smash down my homemade tortillas that I do plan to make, um... I'm going to walk you back over here for a minute. I will be able to make fresh tortillas at a fraction of the price. Usually roughly around six and a half cents per tortilla. This is the other thing I want to show you. This is my chopper. Now, I have to wash it a little bit. It currently has that blade in it. These blades pop out. I have a Julian blade and I have another blade that goes in here and a couple other uh, things that come with it. There's the bottom piece of it. Do never, ever, ever touch these blades. You can think they're dull. I promise you they are not. I can slice and dice three pounds of onions in under 10 minutes with this. I don't cry, none of that sort. It's got a really nice bin that falls into. I also will take some of the onions. I will put them on a cookie sheet lined with either parchment paper or a silicone baking mat, and I will throw them in the freezers and freeze them overnight, flash freeze them for eight to 10 hours, pull them off, put them in Ziploc bags and throw them in my freezer. I will do the same with the green peppers as well. But... This is the chopper that I use, and when I say this bad boy is awesome, I use it for my carrots. I get the julienne cutter in here instead. These just pop right out. Get the julienne cutter, and I do little sticks for carrots. I also um, will put my green peppers in here and dice my green peppers up. So I don't buy the green peppers and onions that are already diced for the 20 ounce for a dollar for the bag. I actually buy them and dice them up myself. So with that being said, this will complete us. $400. Now, let me explain to you guys, for on my budgeting side especially, where this money came from. I had $100 left over for my November um, budget. I used that $100, right? Now, remember, my prepping side came from my prepping binder for the money I had been stocking away and stocking away on a consistent basis. So, we're not going to count the prepping money into this as well. So, $100 from November, I put roughly about $600 into just under $600 into my one year ahead binder that has 
I'm on month number two out of 12 months. I'm getting a fully funded one year in advance binder. So that in case anything hits the fan, I'll be able to pay for groceries, my house payment, all the bills and a few nice accessories and everything that we need to live on until I can regain my money back. And again, it'll be a one year in advance funding source that I'm funding right now. So I'm putting in my December as well for my money. So in December, I get $800 is what I lot myself each month. Unless it's a five week month, I go to a thousand, but $200 per week for groceries. So 800 in a five in a four week month, a thousand in a five week month. So I am not going to have groceries next week. Okay, y'all. So not only did I have the 200 for the first week of December, plus the 100 for November, that's 300. I am not doing groceries next the second week of December. Okay, y'all not doing groceries. You saw all this stuff that I have. I'm going to take you down on Thursday. I'm going to show you my prepper pantry. I'm going to show you what I have left. I'm going to show you what I have in my freezers. We've been on a prep challenge for eight months, y'all. Y'all, we got months still left to go. I was shocked when I seen how much we still have left to go. I am super happy. So let's combine this. November, $100. December 1st through the 7th, $200. December 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th, all the way to the 14th, another 200 Combine that all together, that's $500. I spent $400. Y'all, I wasn't over budget like I thought I was. I'm $100 ahead. That extra $100, I'm not spending it. What am I going to do with it? I'm putting it in the one year ahead, fully funded binder. So that's what we have for you today. Sorry this video up went, went up late. Jet lag still a little bit. Kidney infection still there. <sighs> I'm catching a cold too. <laughs> Go figure. So that's what we have for you today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, and or suggestions, anything else you'd like to mention to me, throw it down in the comment section down below. I'll catch you there. Until next time, Without Limits is out.